Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here. I'm doing a Warhammer Dwarfs video today. We're talking about Belagar Iron Hammer, who actually now has become my favorite dwarf uh, um, choice. He's 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 such a simple and straightforward character. I just like it. I mean, you, you don't really have to think about him, and he he goes with my style of play. Let me give you a little preface. I like to challenge people with dwarves because they don't walk very fast. But at the very least, you can if you kill the guy's hero by the end of the game. At the very least, you could say you did that. Uh, you you feel some level of achievement, and. This guy is made to be the hero killer. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm just reading over him and I'm like, this is just designed to challenge people. I, you could probably even challenge a Tyrion with him pretty well and, and have a, a, make him worry anyway. But let's look at him. Let's look at him. Belagar Iron Hammer. <clears throat> Movement 3. Weapon Skill 8. Ballistic Skill Four strength four toughness four wounds three initiative four four attacks four leadership ten okay that's pretty damn good right there especially fast for a dwarf but here we go uh, he's got special rules stubborn but Really, where he's going to have fun with is his own special rule, uh, Ancestral Grudge. Ah. So, let's read that a little bit. Dwarves always have hatred against orcs, goblins, and Skaven. Okay? So, he can uh, apparently bump the supplement. This means... Okay, so to determine the level of hatred dwarves feel towards other armies after deployment, but before Vanguard moves, roll a d6 and consult the following chart. 1 to 2, personal vendetta. The dwarf general has hatred against the opposing armies general. And this is cool. This is what I'm saying when I say this guy is built for challenges. The worst result you can have is <clears throat> your general hates his general which in challenges good enough for me uh three to four rancorous resolve all friendly character models with the ancestral grudge special rule have uh they hate all character models from the opposing army so you've you as I said, good enough for me. Resol uh, five to six, seething score to settle. Basically, that's everybody. Your whole army hates his whole army. Well, I should say everybody with the ancestral grudge special rule has hatred against all the models of the enemy army. For me, who likes to play as a challenge army, this works just fine. Finally, they go on to have two more special rules. Three more. Three more. Sorry. Uh, he has Resolve, giving him a plus one strength on the turn that they charge. Relentless, allowing units, and it has to be every model in the unit. They, ought, they, don't, they don't need to pass a leadership check test in order to march. And they don't care about how close they are to enemy units. Finally, and this is the nice one, this is the nice one. Revenge Incarnate. <clears throat> Once per game, once per game, at the start of any close combat phase, any close combat phase, any close combat phase, that's important, uh, Belagar can harness the power of his ancestors for the remainder of that turn. He doubles his attack statistic, basically. He now has eight attacks. Let's get on to the magic items. Hammer of Angrund. It's a magic weapon. The wielder of this weapon has always strikes first. How awesome is that? 
always strikes first special rule. Attacks by the Hammer of Angrun receive a plus one bonus to wound. Always strikes first, plus one bonus to wound. And he's a strength four. <sighs> There's that, that, that. Tell me that's not a weapon made for killing heroes and, chair, and generals. Next, Shield of Defiance. The only thing better than the Hammer of Angron is this shield, which is crazy. It's magic armor and a shield. It gives Belagar a 4 plus ward save. Like, that's not enough? No, it, it comes with more. Let's get some chips with that. Additionally, this shield makes Belagar immune to the effects of killing blow and heroic killing blow. Treat those as normal wounds. <laughs> Can you see now? This guy is designed to do one thing. Challenge your opponent's characters and kill heroes, specifically the general. I mean, you, you double your stat to eight attacks for one turn. Eight attacks for one turn. If this guy doesn't kill the general, he's definitely going to make it so that he's going to get killed. I would put him with a unit of the new Iron Drakes because they got weapon skill five and guns. <laughs> uh, and then just challenge. That gets him across the table. That's how I play him. I like him. Enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye.